Hi everybody, this is Emberly. Today we'll be talking about black beard algae, also known as black brush algae. This is a very annoying hairy black algae that you find in many aquariums, especially newly set up aquariums. We'll be talking about what causes this algae to grow, how to prevent it, and finally, how to treat it. Blackbeard algae, like all other types of algae, tend to thrive when there is an upset of balance inside an aquarium. When you first set up your tank, there's always going to be problems with algae. And the reason behind this is because the plants are not healthy and they're dying off. They're releasing excess nutrients. There could be a problem with the delivery of nutrients to the plant. Uh, you might have flow issues. So if you don't have enough flow, your plants are not getting enough nutrients. There could be light issues where there's too much light. Um, there could be carbon dioxide issues where carbon dioxide could be unstable in your aquarium. So all these problems happen at the very beginning. And that is why you'll see blackbeard algae at the very beginning of a setup. To combat blackbeard algae, you will need cleanup crew. And the best there is, is a Siamese algae eater, which is a long fish with a black stripe down the middle. You can also get mollies, and certain types of shrimp will also pick at the algae when it is weakened. Very quickly, other things that you can do is increase the flow inside your aquarium. This won't kill the algae, but it will make your plants healthier as it will distribute nutrients to your plants and enable those nutrients to be used effectively. Cut away any dead uh, leaves off your plant. Maybe give your tank a bit of a vacuum. Do a bit of a water change to remove excess nutrients. And finally, maybe reduce the light by half an hour to an hour so that you're getting around about maybe six hours to seven hours of light in your aquarium per day. So finally, we'll talk about chemical options. You've got Excel dosing. You can try hydrogen peroxide or H2O2. You can try metricide dosing. Or finally, you can try dipping your plants in bleach. When you're using bleach, Use one part bleach per 20 parts water. Dip your decor and your plants in it and make sure you rinse it off thoroughly with a dechlorinator such as Prime. And when you're using Excel, turn your lights off because it breaks down under light and dose it into your aquarium at one and a half mils of Excel per gallon of water every second day. And do this for a period of two weeks and over time you should see your algae gradually disappear. Uh, make sure you turn your filter off when you're dosing with Excel. Also make sure you turn your filter off when dosing with hydrogen peroxide as well. Another way to kill algae is to use hydrogen peroxide. Basically what you want to do is draw it up in the 5 mil syringe and make sure you turn off your filter when you do this. But what you want to do is apply it directly onto the algae using a syringe. And it should start making your algae. The reason why your plants and your algae will bubble is because hydrogen peroxide is a very strong oxidant. And it can be potentially harmful to shrimp and scaleless fish. So make sure they're not anywhere nearby when you're applying your chemical directly onto the plant. Uh, make sure you also turn your filter off. Cannot stress this enough. And within maybe a week, your algae should turn white or red and it should die off. So here I am applying hydrogen peroxide directly onto blackbeard algae. You should see it bubble away pretty soon. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. 
If you did find this video very instructive, please hit away on that like button or even subscribe as I'll be making more Yo. videos in future. Thanks That's for watching. Yo. Yo.